Welcome back, I'm Dylan with Beamer Tech, and behind me is this gorgeous E90. You've seen this on the channel before when we released our MMI Prime for CIC. Well, it's back for a rear view camera. Now, you can get this camera on your car with your MMI Prime, and that's how we're doing it today. We're installing this on this E90 with our MMI Prime. If you don't have an MMI Prime, that's fine. You can head on over to our website and get one. We offer different options for rear view cameras. We can integrate it with your current iDrive, but MMI Prime is definitely the way to go. But regardless, let's show you how to install this rear view camera on this E90, and it'll work the same for you on your E90 as well. But let's show you this cool feature we got right here. Here is the list of the tools that you'll use. And like we always say, anytime we're working on anything electronic in your vehicle, you want to disconnect the battery. For this, you'll need to remove the side panel of your trunk, and with a 10 millimeter socket, remove the negative battery terminal and set it aside. So to remove the old handle and reinstall the new one with the rearview camera, we're going to need to take off this panel right here. First, remove the emergency trunk release handle by bending the plastic center tab and sliding the metal tab out. Then take your pry tool and remove the eight fasteners around the trunk panel. Slide your tool under the head and pull back. Once you set the panel aside, remove this plastic cover. I used a combination of my fingers and the pry tool. Slide it out of the way once it is free. Now we have to remove the stock handle. Slide your hand into the trunk and squeeze down on the top of the handle. Once it starts to pop out, use your pry tool and hands from the other side to work it free. Pull it out and work the cable free. To start installing the new handle, feed the harness that's attached to the new handle through the opening. Plug in the new handle and snap it into place. Now we need to feed the cable through this tubing, so use your pry tool and hands to pop it free from the car. Take a large cable tie and feed it through the tubing. It will be tight. Next, take the end of the wiring harness that connects to the handle, tape it to the bottom of the cable tie that you left hanging out of the tubing. Use a lot of tape and tape it tightly. This may take you a few tries because this is a very tight fit. Use WD-40 or some type of lubricant to help out. Then feed the cable through the trunk lid and out of the top. Feed the other end of the cable through the trunk itself and pop the tubing back into place. Connect the handle harness to the main harness, tape the connection to secure it, tidy up your wires, and put the trunk panel back on. Now we have to get the harness into the interior of the car. Start by popping out the bottom of the back seat by lifting up on the center of each side. Using a Torx 50 bit, loosen the two center bolts so we can move the seat backs just slightly. Next, take the side panel out from the trunk by removing the three fasteners with your pry tool and the bolt with the Torx 45 bit. Don't forget to take the floor panel out like I did. Feed your cable into the interior of the car. Start by feeding the cable tie into the back seat. Tape the harness to it and pull it through. Now we have to remove some interior trim. For the rear piece, pop out the pin with your pry tool, then use the pry tool to pull up on the panel. It's a pretty secure fit. You 
You'll need these fasteners out for later, so pop them out with your pry tool now. For the front piece, just pull up with some force. Remove the fasteners again. Finally, the center section. Release the two pins near the bottom by pulling out on each side. Then slide the panel down. Pull the cable through the interior of the car and then feed it underneath the carpet. Now let's take apart the dashboard. Take your pry tool and start working out the top section of the dashboard. We have to disconnect the start button and center button section. Pop the center section out from behind and pull the two cables out. A pick tool may help. Squeeze and pull the connector out from the start button. For the HVAC controls, just pull. Disconnect the two connectors by pressing down the center tab and rotating the arm down. Remove the cover around the head unit carefully by using a pry tool. Then remove the four Phillips screws holding the head unit in place. Put a towel down and slide the head unit out of the way. We have previously installed our BeamerTech MMI Prime in this car, so we will be hooking into that. To finish feeding the cable, remove the kick panel by pulling. Tuck the cable underneath the carpet. We then need to remove the panel under the dash by taking out the two Torx 20 screws. Don't forget to disconnect the light when it drops. Feed your cable behind where your head unit will go. Pull the slack through. And tuck the rest behind the carpet. All right, and now that all the cables are run, let's get the trunk back together. To reassemble the trunk, put everything back in reverse order that you took out. All right, so once we're done tucking everything in, we are in the home stretch. Let's untape this, get everything plugged in, and uh, put everything back together. Before we put everything back together, we're gonna wanna test the camera first. So reconnect your battery, turn your car on and put it in reverse. Once you see that camera, you know you're good to go. Put your dashboard back together and you're done. After the test is complete, tidy up any loose cables and reinstall your head unit. Reinstalling the trim pieces can be challenging. Just do your best to line up the fasteners with the holes and make sure the weather stripping is over the plastic. When using a drill to reinstall a panel, make sure it's on the lowest setting. For the middle panel, slide up and press down on the bottom. Be mindful of the weather stripping. For the front and back pieces, slide the fasteners you took out into the trim piece itself. Line up the fasteners with the hole in the body of the car and press the pieces down into place. Tighten the seat bolts and reinstall the bottom of the seat. Press down with some force where the tabs are that lock the seat into place. After that, you're done. 
fire up your ride and go for a drive. So there you go, we're done. Install complete, the camera looks great. This is an easy install you could do on your own. Now we used a couple products in this video. We used our Pry Tool, which you can find on our website. We have the MMI Prime, which you can find on our website. And of course, the backup camera, which you could find on our website. Head on over to our website and enter your VIN so that way you can see what products are available for your car. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for this channel so you can see all the installation videos that we do, plus some behind the scenes stuff and car cultures and we got a lot in our channel. You should just subscribe. Thanks for watching.